This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. We all know that water quality is important, but just how important is it and how can we improve it? Well, Jacqueline Saley from the Missouri Department of Conservation is here this morning not only to fill us in, but show us how she goes around Heartland schools to teach kids about the subject. How are you doing today? Great. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you so much for coming on. I think Absolutely. this is a fabulous interactive tool not only to teach kids, but adults as well. So first of all, why is it important to have really good water quality? It's very important to have good water quality because first off, our health depends on it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, most of our water comes from these rivers, streams, and lakes that we pay no minds to. Um, the quality of this water is only as good as its watershed. So that's why understanding water quality and what a watershed is, is very important. So let's talk about what is a watershed. Yeah, sure. A watershed is a, an area of land that drains to a particular river, lake, or stream. Mm -hmm. So what's the importance of it? Well, the importance of it is that um, we all live in a watershed. So mm -hmm. that's first and foremost the biggest thing, that we all live in a watershed that contributes pollutants in one way, shape, or form. So this is the Enviroscape. This okay. is a great tool that I use. Um, I travel around to local schools and mm -hmm. events and bring this with me. There's multiple ways that you can use it. Um, today I'm just going to give you a, a short little version. So okay. the Enviroscape shows us two different types of pollution. Mm -hmm. So we have point source and non-point source. So our point sources are ones that are flowing from pipes or coming from specific points that we can locate within mm -hmm. our watershed. And then we have our non-point source pollution, which is stuff that we might not think about on a regular basis, like our land runoff, things that come from drainage and seepage after a big rain event. These are our soils that are eroding into our streams in different areas. Mm -hmm. And we also have fertilizers that we, of course, use on our lands for different things. And we also have our pesticides, too, that we use mm -hmm. on our land. So all of these things, after a big rain event, people don't think about it, but after it rains, all of these things are being washed off mm -hmm. into our streams and then inevitably into our, our water body, which our water body is providing our drinking water. So that becomes an important thing. So this demonstrates, after a big rain event, how you everything- can see it all. Exactly. Look at that. And eventually, and once you can, we get enough of it here, it'll... And you can see it going into the water stream yeah, that we depend on. Exactly, exactly. And that's why this is important. So how, what are some ways, and I know that, you know, landowners are probably aware of this, but what are some ways that we can improve and kind of hopefully not just prevent it, but maybe delay this process? Sure, there are a lot of different things that we can do. Two main things that we're gonna highlight here are fencing in our livestock, that a lot of our livestock have direct access to the streams, mm -hmm. and that can, over time and in um, quantity, be devastating to our water quality. Mm -hmm. So just fencing in our livestock is one way that we can improve our water quality. Another one is um, planting vegetation. Vegetation is also important because it's going to limit your runoff mm -hmm. and filter out nutrients. Look at that. So both of these things are two solutions that we can use to improve our water quality. Look at that. And I mean, obviously this is very visual. And like you said, you go around uh, area schools to kind of teach kids about this. And it's always fun that they actually get to see a visual of actually how this happens and what we can do. So how can we get involved and how can schools get in contact with you? Yes, most definitely. So for any water quality or volunteer information, the Missouri Stream Team is an excellent resource. They have a fantastic website. Mm -hmm. You can find it at www.mostreamteam.org. And then anything aquatic education related, you can mm -hmm. reach out to me directly via email at jacqueline.saley at mdc.mo.gov. All right, and I know that's a lot of websites to remember. So what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com. Awesome. We'll link up your information. And really quickly, you said there's a volunteer opportunities as well with the Missouri Stream? Absolutely, yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Well, thank you so much. Again, what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com. Thank you so much, Jacqueline, for thank coming you, on. Thank you, Ella. I appreciate it. And we'll be right back.